All right, we are live. Uh, excited to be on today. Thanks so much for joining us on the You vs. You show. And uh, this is a show that as we as Americans and Canadians and about 140 countries right now, we're home and doing our social distancing. Um, I'm definitely focused on adding as much value as I possibly can in my own, um, I guess you'd call it a living room. I'm actually at my dining room and um, really bringing on some amazing guest speakers to the Uverse You show to really show everyone that's watching how you can really kick your own ass and really win right now. Because right now, I think the temptation is apathy. Um, there's like a wait period. When are we going to go back to work? A lot of you that maybe did not work from home, maybe you're in retail, maybe, you know, you are a uh, real estate agent or maybe you're, you know, you have a, you had a job and you're on furlough. You know, this is definitely a time in our country uh, and really a lot of other countries to make a pivot. And if you don't really know what that means, that's why we want to bring on some really incredible uh, guests on the show to really help you that are sitting there watching, whether you're in your robe, your pajamas, or you're on the go, maybe you're on a run right now, wherever you're at, we just want you to get some value out of this. And our guest today is incredible. I've gotten the opportunity just to know her just for about two weeks. Um, she is just uh, impressive. And and what I mean by that is she's very driven and I want to have her share her story. But, you know, for me, I've been coaching people for many, many years. And I know sometimes our, obviously our children are our biggest blessing. But through my own experience, I think a lot of times when parents, especially mothers, have children, I know that it's very overwhelming to do other things. So this is a person that has children. Um, she is uh, certified in what's called the emotion code and body code. She's building a business. She's a loving wife. She's a person of faith. And she's not even 30 years old yet. So it's just so impressive to see her drive and her determination and really getting the most from the inside out. So we have uh, Kirsten right now. She's on. Uh, Kirsten Morley from Utah, I believe. Uh, you live in Utah, right? Yes. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful state, Utah. I've been there many times. I uh, love Salt Lake City. It's one of my favorite states in the whole country. And I'm just so excited to have you because I think you're going to add so much value today. But I wanted to just have you share just a little bit about your background, if you don't mind, before we get started with some questions, who you are, um, kind of where you're from, all that good stuff, and then really, um, you know, what you do. And uh, I think we're going to really just share a little bit more about that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Todd. It is honestly a pleasure to be here. So like Todd said, I am, my name is Kirsten Morley and I am a certified emotion code and body code practitioner. Um, I am a wife to Bo and a mother of three beautiful kids. And I absolutely love being with my family, but um, um, I've been doing the emotion code and body code for about two years now. Um, and I actually originally got into um, the emotion code and body code because I had um, or just specifically into energy healing because I had ADD all growing up. I struggled reading all throughout school and I struggled um, with the medication that I was actually put on because it mm -hmm. like all the symptoms were, it, it was ruining, not ruining my life, but I felt a slave to the mm -hmm. medication because I became so dependent on it. Mm -hmm. um, like I literally couldn't function without it. And um, because of the energy healing that I was introduced to, um, to it not only like once I was once I did the energy mm -hmm. healing mm -hmm. I was not only able to go off the medication completely but I no longer have trouble reading or with with comprehending any anything like that so yeah. um, and then the next thing that um, the emotion code actually played in mm -hmm. is this is very very personal to me but um, a really big role that the emotion mm -hmm. quote the emotion code played in was um, healing from betrayal trauma. And mm -hmm. it really helped with my self-esteem, my connection to God. And um, now I am actually able to help people go through the same thing because nobody deserves to, um, nobody deserves to be going through the emotions and they don't have to hold on to their emotional baggage. Yeah. And I now help people um, with their relationships, the connections they have with each other, the anxieties and the traumas, all of that. So 
Wow, it's amazing. So I want, I want to get into that because right now, well, I think we're faced with a lot of traumas right now. We're faced with a lot of anxiety and me included. And, you know, I've been a, um, a transformational leadership coach for a while. I've, I've been on medication myself and I was able to get off it through meditation and through a lot of the emotion code that you're talking about. And for, so, for somebody watching, they might not know exactly whether they're watching live. And if you guys are watching, thank you so much for being on. But if you might not know what the emotion code is, it's actually a book written by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Um, Tony Robbins, if you're familiar with at least Tony Robbins, there it is right there. Um, Tony Robbins at the Ford, actually, but it's been out since 2007. Uh, Dr. Bradley Nelson is in Utah and he was a chiropractic doctor. Um, but it really has just evolved from 2007 to really 2020 as something just unbelievable. I think it's the next biggest thing. It has been around for thousands of years, uh, but nobody has really quite written a book like Dr. Bradley Nelson. And within that is what's called the body code. And that is what um, uh, Kirsten is really qualified and certified in both. So she actually helps people do the same thing that she did with herself. And my belief being 39 and really my experience is in order for you to be successful, in order for you to achieve and also be fulfilled, we do have to address the emotional side of, of baggage and trauma. So Kirsten, can you just explain in layman's terms for anyone that's watching that might have anxiety right now? I mean, there's literally a death count on CNN. Every time we go to CNN, there's like, this is how many people that are dying. You know, 100,000 people at 250,000 minimum. Donald Trump just said yesterday in America alone, it's got to give everyone a bit of anxiety. Even if you're a positive thinker, how can somebody kind of get through this time, this very difficult time of COVID-19 through your practice and really just through your knowledge that you can share on this uh, live today? So um, basically, as, as we go throughout life, um, mm -hmm. I believe that we... Um, we create these trapped emotions. Trapped emotions are basically just harmful energies that you get from your negative past events. And if you're able to release those, actually, let me start over. So when you when you get these trapped emotions, there are many different things that can happen for you. Um, it can cause you to actually resonate with that emotion. So for example, if you have, like when you were six and your dad yelled at you and he had a lot of anger, mm -hmm. um, he could have you could have absorbed that energy from him and now mm -hmm. you are a lot quicker to anger you're a lot mm -hmm. quicker to sadness a lot quicker to um being overwhelmed if you have had that in your life um so yeah. all throughout life if we have all of these trapped emotions if you go through an event uh through a divorce or through um any kind of abuse or trauma then you are more tend to be triggered by that because of the trapped emotions that you have in your mm. inside your body. And mm. I believe that it's also, it's not only making you more reactive to, to your, your surroundings, but it's also, I believe it's going to cause pain. It's going to cause you to hold more tension in your shoulders. Mm -hmm. It's going to give you a back, pain, give you back pain. Um, mm -hmm. And so when you release um, everything like that, so they have this thing called Dr. Bradley Nelson, actually, um, he didn't invent it. He, he discovered um, the, one of the most amazing things out there right now. And that's called our, called the heart wall. Um, the heart yeah, wall is basically yeah. when we, when we scoop up these trapped emotions mm -hmm. and we place these um, trapped emotions over our heart and mm -hmm. because of the heart wall, um, I don't, let me just start over. So every person that I have actually helped release a heart wall. Um, they have mm -hmm. more energy. They they feel less foggy in their in their mission in life. They feel um, they feel less numb. They feel a better connection with their significant other. Um, and they they actually I've noticed a lot of people that I've done work for and myself as well is yeah. their abundance and wealth goes up and um, the feelings of anxiety and depression and PTSD they they go away. You become yeah. a lot less reactive. So right now, the best thing for anybody to do is first to have a session and get rid of your heart wall because all those emotions that are over your heart right now are probably making you super reactive to to everything that's going on, especially right now. So yeah. So let's talk. Let, let's talk about certain things like in the heart wall. And I'm not. I'm just going to kind of ask you. You can agree with me. You can disagree. So I'm thinking like a heart wall could be maybe comparing ourselves to others, jealousy, or not letting people in. I look at like interpersonal relationships, even romantic relationships, you know, let's say somebody got divorced and 
you know, maybe it was all the ex's fault, right? And, and, and I see this a lot um, uh, in, in men and women, but I do see it a lot in women, you know, the single mom syndrome and they never remarry because they just hate their ex and they'll spend years and years just blaming their ex for everything. And then you see other like jealousy, you see anger, you see anxiety. And, you know, I think it, it, the human race is like, not lazy. I think the human race is beautiful. I think the human race is unbelievable. I mean, I our coaching program is called Inside Out, meaning that God's created us. So we are the image of God. So how can one guy or gal be, you know, a, a, a dud and another person be a stud? It's just we're all we all can be legendary. But what holds us back is not so much our skill set or even our knowledge. It's that our emotions. So what really do you think in your opinion because you are certified you've been doing this for two years and you have clients and just even your own personal experience what do you think maybe the top three that you've experienced emotions um that create that heart wall that do hold people back what would you say they were um as far as the things that hold us back i think it's just the actual trapped emotions the heart wall and i think it's um it's our mindset, if that makes any sense. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, what what really triggers that? Like when you say mindset, because I hear mindset a lot, and you know, I've been coaching people to unleash their winning mindset for about five years, you know, professionally, um, and then of course in my own business and network marketing for about sixteen years. But I, I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. So what makes someone kind of have a? Is it a positive mindset or is it like a negative mindset? Is it really that simple? Is it more of a, I got to just think more positively or is there more to it from your perspective? Okay. So I think there's actually two parts to it. Um, and mm -hmm. this is why I absolutely love you as a coach specifically, mm -hmm. because um, for me, I work on the subconscious side. Um, I work mm -hmm. on um, the emotional baggage, the, the, the past experiences. Um, we actually have a tendency to, um, not go where we've been, where it's not been safe before. If we have mm. um, a specific trapped emotion about a specific event, like we're never going to go there. We're mm. not going to go. We're not going to go back into that relationship or it could fall into a pattern where we actually go back into that, that relationship because we could become safe to that. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second part is the conscious side, which is your part, which is why I absolutely love um, mm -hmm. you as a coach. And it's been mm -hmm. like, for me, just in my business, it's been a pivoting point because mm -hmm. I'm not only work, working on my subconscious side, mm -hmm. I'm working on my conscious side. Mm -hmm. And um, it is the positive mindset. It is the the reading 10, page, pa 10 pages a day. It is yeah. um, all of that. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and just from because I'm, you know, obviously asking you questions, but from my perspective and being in kind of leadership for almost two decades, um, it, it really is both. But let me just give everyone an example of what she's talking about. So here we are sitting in our houses, a lot of us, 80 percent of the United States is, you know, whatever the name of it is, uh, you know, at home. Basically, they can't move, you know, quarantine, whatever it is. So let's say somebody's out of a routine right now. So I have my planner here, this leather bound planner. So the way that you can get into a positive mentality is not only meditate, reading a book or anything. It's actually the conscious side of actually going for a run. So I just literally went for a run around my golf course, took a shower, got ready, and then did this interview. I feel so much better. I mean, just by me running for an hour, um, waking up and making phone calls, still maybe you're working from home. You still have to make those calls. So what have you found on the conscious side, just in even the past two weeks for you, now you're being coached in the Inside Out program that your routine is getting better, you're getting sharper. How is that also, also watch this, affecting your subconscious too, organically? Um, honestly, I feel like it's, it's, it's affecting me in such a positive way. Like mm -hmm. I, like I've, I've uh, read books, I've um, done um, gratitude journal, you know, like working on myself subconsciously, mm -hmm. but um, I didn't really, put it into into perspective where it's it's going to be an everyday thing like for me I had no idea what meditation was mm -hmm. until I met you like I knew meditation is good like oh my gosh yeah meditation is yeah. awesome but mm -hmm. um doing it consistently at a, at a specific time of day like this is why like the reason why you meditate is because you need to be still you need to um you need to wh whatever you call it you need to yeah, have that yeah. You need yeah. to have that stillness and you need to do it two times a day because 
If you don't, the world is going to control you and your emotions. You will not be able to control you and your emotions. Yeah. Well, I, I, got, I, got, I was talking to somebody today and it kind of hit me too. And I've been a believer my whole life. And I think you'd appreciate this. It's like um, when you read the New Testament and the life of Jesus, Jesus prayed, but he also meditated. So many, many times he would actually have his own routine. He would wake up in the, early in the morning at dusk and he would go alone, which is a huge, that's a huge deal. So he, he wasn't with a bunch of people. He wasn't on social media, on Instagram. He went alone. And this is what's going to blow everyone's mind. So when I talk to like Christians, right, they're like, well, I don't need to meditate. I pray. So watch this. So you're married and I'm married, right? So yeah. imagine you go to your, you imagine you go to your husband and you just talk all the time. You just blah, 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 blah. And then when he talks to you, you walk away. And when I talk to my wife, I just blah, 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 blah. And then when she wants to talk to me, I, I ignore her. I just walk away. So you have to understand like prayer is like that. Like we pray to God. We're like, God, please this. Thank you for this. Please, please, uh, you know, play for, pray for protection. I pray for you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thanks. Amen. But see, meditation is us shutting up and really yeah. shutting down. So you need both. So it's like you're now listening. Meditation is just listening to your soul. It's listening. It's being quiet. And many times in the Bible says, be still, be quiet. So even now in 2020, right, 2020 years later, it's the same concept is, yes, we pray, obviously, to God. And obviously, for that hedge of protection, shields up, et cetera. But at the same time, we have to listen as well. So I think that's where if people can just understand meditation is a form of emotional fitness. I, I hear so many people talk about emotional intelligence. I don't believe in it because some people are more intelligent than another person. So it already kind of, for me personally, I'm not the most intelligent guy in the world. So I don't like emotional intelligence, but I like emotional fitness because I can get more fit by working hard on my body and we can do the same thing mentally. So what are some ways right now? And I know you're in the program, so you can kind of just share with everyone. What are some emotional fitness tips that you've been doing every day. You said meditation, you know, of course we have working out, reading 10 pages. What are, what are some things that you're implementing? Keep performance indicators that every day you're doing and it's making you strong emotionally. Well, just like you said, meditating for, for 10 minutes in the morning and then five minutes in the, the afternoon, um, just for that morning and then afternoon, just because sometimes you, you go throughout your day and then you start to get yourself worked up. And then that midday after um, that mad midday yeah. afternoon um, meditation is just when you're going to feel better. Um, and then some of the things I actually started doing because of your program is working out. Um, mm -hmm. I do not like to work out. I don't like to get sweaty, but I realized that it's actually not just for me. Like when I, yeah. um, it's for my mind and, um, and then um, some of the other things is the the gratitude. I actually write a gratitude journal every single day um, mm. just so that I can not only remember the things that are going on in my life, but it's also to get my um, my my va my vibration um, higher. And then um, reading of a of good books about ten pages a day, and yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much the, all I've been doing. So. That's good. And you mentioned something I want to bring up. There's this thing that most Americans, most people in the world kind of uh, depends because I say America, not just because I live in America, but I think America, even before COVID-19, is such a busy country compared to Italy or compared to Spain, meaning it's stress, 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 consumerism and go, 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 go. And what we call that is fight or flight. So it's either you're flying by the seat of your pants or you're just fighting and fighting and fighting that schedule and anxiety and stress. And of course, people say they don't have time and that's where excuses come. But really, um, the greatest thing, and I'll share this with you, and you can, you can talk about it here in the, in the last few minutes that we have, but one of the greatest things I've ever done and the greatest gifts that we all have as humans, no matter what's going on around us, is to shut everything down is to actually shut the technology down, to shut, and, and I'm not saying, I'm saying this in a very respectful way, but shut the kids down, shut the spouse down. I'm not saying like shut them up. I'm just saying like go away like Jesus had to get away from the 12 disciples. He had to get away from his parents. He had to get away from his brothers and sisters, even at a young age. The greatest gift that we have as humans is we can shut things down even for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or an hour. And then if you're really, really conscious, right? I meditated 
you know, for three, four hours creating this plan that we have uh, last year. So sometimes you'll even meditate in stillness for like two, three, four hours. When it's like running, you get better and better, better. If you keep running, you're going to get stronger. So what have you learned just from this past two weeks of meditation where you are busy, you have children, you have a, a husband. I mean, you're, you're very, very busy. Of course, they're home. A lot of moms right now, I feel for you. Oh my gosh, it's, it's got to be crazy for moms right now. Um, you know, it's like school was a great thing because it's like, all right, I don't have to have them for eight hours of school. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now it's just 24 seven, but how can a mom, especially a mom right now, get away for 10 minutes, 20 minutes and just think, what would be your recommendations for someone that really just wants to get away, think about their life, think about their priorities and just take a breather and just even listen to God and listen to themselves. My favorite place to go. If I'm like really, um, really running away from not necessarily running away, but right. trying to get away from the family, the kids. Um, if my husband's not around, I go either straight for the closet or I go into the bathroom and I lock the door and I put in some headphones mm -hmm. and I literally just sit there and just breathe. Like that's, that mm -hmm. is like my number one thing. If I can get oxygen into my lungs and into my brain and into my body, then that is just like five minutes. You, they even have like the, the breathe app on the Apple watch where mm -hmm. I can just Yep. and just let it go you know that that is like my number one thing That's to awesome. put on a movie for the kids they're not yep. gonna die <laughs> yeah or you know? I, ipad is the best they, they love the iPad, iPad yep. or, yep. yeah yeah get out of here you know kids kids netflix yeah you got you got to as a parent i mean there's no you know I, sometimes on instagram a lot of parents want to paint themselves as like oh a perfect life and a perfect world and a perfect kitchen but no there, there's no reality when you have kids it's, oh. it's like you're constantly cleaning um, you know, I'm making macaroni and cheese every three hours and, you know, food. I'm like a professional chef when I'm with my kids, you know, all the time. Yep. So, but, but it is a beautiful thing, obviously being a parent, but I think we also want to be good parents. We also want, you know, so I always tell people you have to be selfish so that you can be selfless. Even on an airplane, Absolutely. it says put the ox oxygen mask on yourself and then you obviously can put the oxygen mask on your own. So even in COVID-19, I'll kind of end with this. What are some ways just from your kind of practice and being a practitioner and a body code and you've gone through a lot of the different um, things to, to have that certification? What would be some tips for, for people watching this? Moms, especially, you know, women, just like whether they're younger, whether they're a little bit older than you, um, just relatability. What's ways that they can catch their breath? What are some things? I think sometimes women especially feel selfish when they're locking themselves in the bathroom because there's so much pressure on them to be this perfect 1950 housewife. Um, so what from your experience can you just share, you know, that really can guide, you know, mothers out there just to kind of take a breath, take a deep breath, you know, deep breath and just, just know that you can't do it all sometimes. And, but you still have to keep that faith and inner peace in yourself. Well, it's a lot like you teach in your book. Um, you need to be authentic with yourself. And you're right. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. You don't have to be a perfect mom. You don't have to be um, the perfect wife. You don't have to have the house clean all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. right next to me is a mountain of, of laundry. Mm -hmm. Like there, like there's no, there's no perfect person. Like we're all here on this earth to get through, um, to get yeah. through life, to, to make the best of it, to help others. But, I honestly truly believe that just like you teach, like you need to take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself first, very first, because if you're not happy, then you're going to project that out to your kids. Um, I mean, like even, even with your program, like I can't even tell you like two weeks into your program and I am so blown away by the clarity that you've given me and just like the game plan that I'm actually able to have now. Um, I'm actually able to focus on really what's important rather than um, this mountain of laundry is not super important. Like it's, you know, just, yeah. Yeah. And like yeah. the mastermind group that we have, that you have, um, yeah. it, I am just blown away by everything that you have. And it's just, it's awesome. So you ready? Well, you, uh, let me share about that. Um, so all the moms watching, right. So check this out. So here's my philosophy on life. Uh, my wife is uh, just amazing. She loves doing that. But at the same time, if you really think about it, that's kind of a waste of our life. Let, let's just all be real. Doing laundry is a waste of our life. Cleaning the house 10 times a week, it's a waste of our life. So watch yep. this. So imagine, uh, Kirsten, right? You have clarity. 
you go build one of the most successful body code and motion code practice. You make great money helping people. You hire a maid. That's on my dream board. <laughs> That's all you got to do. You just hire a maid. You hire someone to do the lawn. And, and, and again, someone might say, well, well, why can't you just do it? You aren't being a little bit lazy? No. What if we just work from home, made a ton of money helping a ton of people and help them make a ton of money, and then just relax? Why do we have to clean our house 10 times a week? That's so – It's every time I clean my house, I'm like, this is such a waste of my talent because I should be on Zoom like this or I should be on lives or I should be coaching someone or just – hanging out with the family. I shouldn't have to do that. So that's another reason that everyone watching needs to get their clarity, get their message, go crush it right now from home. Do things like you're doing, you're following your passion and, and you got certified and now you're getting more and more clients, you're stepping in your full power. So in the last few minutes, can you just share where can people follow you on the gram, Facebook, um, a little bit more about your practice, what you're offering today. I know you have a special offer, which I think is phenomenal. So I'd like to just give you the floor just to kind of let people connect with you um, after this, obviously, uh, live. Yeah. So my Instagram is Kirsten.Morley and my Facebook is uh, Facebook slash one Kirsten Morley. And then um, I also have Periscope. Um, it should be Kirsten dash Morley or something like that. And then, um, how do you spell Morley? It's, well, it's right there. M O R L E I. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and then you can follow you on Facebook. Yep. Yep. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I don't have Twitter, but, um, I do have Periscope. Mm -hmm. Um, and okay. then I do, um, have a special offer. I'm super excited about this. Um, the first mm -hmm. five people to comment will actually get a free body code session or free emotion code session. Um, wow. I really absolutely want to help as many people as I possibly can. And this is, this is it. So yeah, thank that's you amazing. so much, Todd. Yeah, that's amazing. And, and for you to do that, for you to offer that, that's, you know, 30 minutes times five, you know, that's like three hours, four hours of your time. So anyone that is smart enough to take advantage of that is super smart. Um, I know that I've had my own sessions with my with my friend, but also your mentor and someone yep. that really helps me um, and is my mentor when it comes to obviously that is Emmanuel Zavios, one of the top practitioners in the world. So it's just amazing um, to meet you. It's amazing in the past two weeks. I didn't know you three weeks ago. And right. about two weeks ago, um, you were a referral from Emmanuel. And then I got on the phone with you and it, you were so energetic. You were just so focused. You were just so open to coaching. And then, of course, you stepped into the conscious side of coaching and you just you, in the midst of all what's going on, you're like, I'm in. I'm going to do this. And I tell you, since day one, and we've only been working for two weeks, you've just been so like focused. And it's just it's kind of my dream as a coach to obviously have a client that not only is focused in herself, but has such a calling on her life that's able to get this skill set, but then take it 10 X, so like not just say it but actually do the interior work that you're doing and consciously take that to the next level. So I just commend you publicly for just you, you showing up. And I know you're only two weeks in, so you know <laughs> what, what about two months in or even you know 12 months in? It's gonna be a way different yeah. story, but I just appreciate you sharing. I know this is out of your comfort zone. It's not like you're a professional <laughs> public speaker. You know, and, nope. and, I, and, I, and, I, and like I tell my clients, I'm like, I, I could easily get like, big authors, big speakers, using my network and no problem. But the definition of leadership is helping average people perform above average. And I think a lot of times we're all average when we're just starting out. So that's really what leadership is. So I'm obviously leading and wanting to be a better leader and you're leading and wanting to be a better leader. So I would say the world is average. I mean, the world's not a bunch of, you know, Olympic athletes here, but but everyone can be way above average. It's a choice. It's, you have to choose growth. You can't choose to be apathetic and decline. So be like her, you know, Kirsten, be like her. I, I want to only highlight people on the show that are just, they have every excuse. Because Kirsten, how many kids do you have, by the way? I have, have, I have three. You have, you have three kids. Yep. Okay, great. Five, so you have three and one year old. <laughs> five, three and one year old. And there's no school, and the one-year-old obviously doesn't go to school, nope. and the three-year-old doesn't go to school. The five-year-old is probably in kindergarten or, or first grade, and um, and here you are, getting certified the past two years, getting clients, being on lives, 
hiring a coach, doing the work. You're all obviously loving wife and your faith. I mean, like, is there any excuses that you could have? You could have a million excuses, but you choose not to. And that's what I respect so much about you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. So guys, if you like this, go ahead and comment. Um, I hope this is good for every, each and every one of you. Again, the You Verse You Show is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 7 p.m. Central. It's for 30 minutes every episode. And every day we're bringing amazing people like uh, Kirsten on this show just to show every one of you, like, look, why are people waiting around? Why are people waiting for the government 90 days from now to maybe open up? Start your business, start your online practice, get certified of the motion code and body code. It's very simple. Um, Discover Healing app, go to the app, Discover Healing, Dr. Bradley Nelson. Hey, maybe you wanna be a coach like me, reach out to me. You don't have to be certified to be a life coach, you really don't. You could just start doing it if you have your own story and you have some courage to go out there and market yourself and, and actually you're good. So. We want to in, in, help anyone and everyone that's watching this think outside the box, win the you versus you battle, and kick your own ass and win. Okay, so uh, Kirsten, thanks so much for being on. You're awesome and uh, very Thank special you. person. Thank you so much for being on today. Thank you. Have a good night. All right, have a good night. Thanks so much.